Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Welcome to Wabaman Lake. What a great day to be out here. You know, this is one of the gems to be found in central Alberta in terms of a recreational area located just 45 minutes west of Edmonton. But an interesting ecological program taking place today to go a long way to help restore the shoreline of this lake. This lake has been subjected to years of lakeshore development and industry impacts have all taken a toll on the health of the lake. The Wabaman Watershed Management Council, or WWMC, is committed to restoring and preserving the lake's precious ecosystem. Uh, we, are, we are excited for the results of this and hopeful that the results will be um, um, you know, uh, positive, that we'll have good, um, good uh, establishment of bulrush plant communities uh, because um, the bulrush plant community is, uh, I, as I said, important for you know, uh, fish habitat, for uh, food, for um, you know, waterfowl, and also to prevent erosion. And those are all factors that our stakeholders are interested in. So we do uh, anticipate expansion of the project uh, after we uh, get uh, some of the outcomes, some of the results. To guide in this restoration effort, the Management Council sought the expertise of folks who understand the process of improving shoreline habitats. Christian Anderson is a biologist with a specialty in aquatic habitats and explains that the rehabilitation of this shoreline is a formidable task. Well, the challenge is that um, the, the shoreline of Wabaman Lake has been pretty heavily developed so through um, activities that cause disturbance to the natural vegetation along the shoreline. We continue to see um, you know, degradation in water quality and most significantly, I think what we've seen over the last number of years is uh, increase in shoreline erosion. And so I think that the project provides an excellent opportunity to demonstrate to landowners who have been watching their shoreline recede and, and, and losing their land, um, losing the, the, the stability of their backyards and things like that. It's a real opportunity to demonstrate that if we don't do something, we're gonna continue to lose our shoreline. You know, it's quite a process to go out and harvest these bulrushes. In fact, uh, some are being harvested, some have been grown, and some are coming from a greenhouse in southern Alberta. So it's quite the process in terms of, uh, I guess you could call it, uh, agriculture underwater. One monster. So this is probably four or five years old. This project has received funding support from the Alberta Conservation Association Community and Education Grant Program and the Land Stewardship Centre of Canada Watershed Stewardship Grant. This allows for up to a thousand hard stem bulrush to be planted. It's a species that thrives in shallow water areas. These bulrush colonies will provide protection from the wind and waves while offering essential food and habitat for waterfowl and fish. Linear line, right? Like, yeah, maybe a square meter wide. So we could condense the rest of it within within that zone? Yeah. Or do you want me shallower? You know, this uh, restoration project goes well beyond just planting vegetation. It's also about education. And of course, something like this wouldn't uh, move forward without the support and participation of local residents that live along the lake. I suppose that the bottom line is property value because as, as, as the, uh, what I call the lower bench erodes out, if it erodes out, there'll be It'll be right back to a steep bank. Um, and uh, so that's one reason is to protect the property and the value of the property. The other thing is just protecting the lake because erosion basically is washing nutrient into the lake. And that's the real enemy of lakes like this. 
that are eutrophic and uh, they will uh, you load them too much with nutri a nutrient and, and that just accelerates their death. So with the combined efforts of a number of organizations and individuals, here's hoping that this lake continues to improve for future generations. Till next time, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors.